After watching this video, you'll be convinced to use low code for your company's next business application. And I only need to convince you about two things. And it's not even the fact that Retool and Xano are the best low code tools you should immediately use. Neither it's the fact that low code will be used to produce 75% of all business apps in the world next year. Nope. The first point I aim to make is that the quality of software you develop for your company directly enhances your margins. Software makes margins. Let's take the example of a hypothetical enterprise business app. Please welcome the Big Business App. In large organizations, complex business applications are built on back-end service APIs. These handle essential functions such as authentication, project management, or expense validations for top management. These back-end services are accessed via web portals. An API gateway connects these front ends to the back end, with Microsoft Azure being one example among others. Interactions can occur through various channels, including messengers, phones, email, or mobile apps. The application integrates with other systems, such as ERP or CRM, and interfaces with external service providers. You might need Gen AI for analyzing complex documents. This application serves thousands of users globally. Now imagine a well-crafted business application. By automating routine tasks, it increases efficiency. It turns data into insights for better decisions. It gives your team powerful tools to work smarter and faster. This software makes teamwork seamless, even from remote locations. Okay, but what makes a good software? Over the last 70 years, software evolved from the first web apps in the 1990s and the cloud revolution in the 2000s to the transformative launch of the iPhone in 2008 and the rise of frameworks like React by 2015. Today, the spotlight is on Gen AI. Good software now prioritizes user experience, is open, API first, and builds on standards like JavaScript and REST. Bad software, however, remains developer-centric, with closed architectures and vendor-specific databases marking a clear divide in software evolution. Traditionally, companies have favored established platforms like Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, ServiceNow, and Appian to meet their business needs. Your unique business application transcends traditional CRM, ITSM, or BPM software, breaking free from outdated database-focused user experiences and ledger-like approaches. These giant platforms were designed to serve as a common denominator, addressing the broad needs of ESPO 500 companies. So, you end up using just 10% of their vast feature list, but pay the full price. Moreover, all these platforms use seat-based pricing, becoming more expensive as your dependency grows with more users. To modernize the outdated user interfaces from the 90s, you'll be compelled to develop custom front ends, further increasing your build and operational costs beyond just licensing fools. Additionally, these custom interfaces must integrate with the platform's APIs, which are, to put it mildly, challenging. I hope this convinces you that good software can boost your margins, while bad software can easily erode them. So now let's move on to the second thing. For traditional companies, including yours, software is often seen as a cost. In contrast, for software editors, software generates revenue. Recall the big business application we discussed? Well, I am sorry, but you can't create a sophisticated software solution with a classic code-first approach. But don't worry, my friend. I have a solution for you. Here, Here comes the low code. code! And it all began a long time ago, in the 1940s, with chips and wires, which then evolved to assembler instructions. These were replaced by compiled languages, followed by interpreted languages like Java, then came script languages executed in browsers, boosted by frameworks like Laravel or React. Now we've reached the latest stage in this development pyramid, low-code platforms. This isn't a revolution, but an 80-year journey of incremental evolution in software. Low-code platforms enable companies to easily build complex apps by simplifying hosting, authentication, versioning, and more. They offer reusable features, ensure security, and support Mac architecture, reducing the need for deep technical skills. 
and reducing by 60% the build time of your software. In the past three years, we've tested over 800 tools with criteria focused on ease of use, quality user experience, and productivity. Visual UI Builder with autocomplete, easy styling, and Gen AI assistance. A builder with a comprehensive component library capable of handling complex events. The low-code landscape is divided by the rise of React in 2015. Post-2015 platforms are favoured for their modern features, including native React and GraphQL REST. In contrast, pre-2015 platforms with their closed databases, awkward APIs and desktop-bound studios are less adaptable to today's development challenges. Avoid outdated low-code platforms from the 90s, as they often use client-server architecture have steep learning curves, lack mobility support, ignore modern standards, suffer from a talent shortage, and can cost more than contemporary coding approaches. After evaluating hundreds of tools, Retool and Zano emerged as the best in class in 2024. Let's explore why these platforms stand out. Zano offers a flexible PostgreSQL data model with straightforward data export and import. It enables data visualization and editing, ensures data security with encryption, and simplifies management of environments like production, pre-production, and development. Xano delivers an exceptional developer experience by automatically generating crude APIs and allowing for the creation, testing, and deployment of custom APIs in minutes. Even without specialized coding knowledge or familiarity with Xano, any junior engineer can efficiently use the platform. Finally, Zano promotes company-wide code reuse through an internal marketplace, enabling a code once, use everywhere approach with options for local adaptation. Zano is a comprehensive back-end toolbox used by some of the world's largest companies, including Siemens, which owns Mendix, but opts for Zano to handle millions of daily API calls, supporting their entire back-end systems. Retool. Recognized as a front-end platform challenger by Gartner, excels when paired with Zano's back-end capabilities, positioning them as leaders in the low-code space. Even large-scale companies teaming with developers choose Retool for its 100 ready-to-use, adaptable components that cater to the diverse needs of complex business applications. Retool enhances developer productivity tenfold, featuring an integrated workflow management system. This includes a workflow engine for executing cron or webhook triggers, making SQL, REST and GraphQL calls, running JS code, sending emails, incorporating AI steps and supporting versioning, audits and logs. Both Retool and Zano support Bring Your Own Cloud for flexible deployment. Zano's architecture includes a PostgreSQL database cluster, business logic microservices, Redis caching, and task management. It interfaces with the front end through an API gateway, while Retool enables easy front end scaling in your cloud. Integration with tools like GitHub and Active Directory is seamless. Both platforms offer remote management and aggressive enterprise-grade SLAs for reliable operation. This video is brought to you by Code Store, where we specialize in helping companies worldwide build next-generation business applications. Leveraging a revolutionary mix of tools, expertise, and methodologies, we excel in three key areas. Migrating legacy software to modern low-code platforms, Replacing costly SAAS solutions with tailor-made low-code apps. Automating manual business processes with the power of AI and low-code. We are Europe's foremost authorities on low-code technology and the proud organizers of the No-Code Summit Conference. Thank you for watching. Now is the perfect time to contact us for your next business application project.